today. It's been a bad poop day. Hello and welcome back, you beautiful nerds, to another edition of a video. That's right, on this little holiday corner of the internet. Yeah, I put my Christmas tree up, you guys. She's cute. We call her our fat bottom girl. She's a little poofy at the bottom. God bless. It's the month of December, the dying breaths of the year. <laughs> it's Q4 and I'm convinced we as humans are not built to work in the month of December. We are built to be inside, eat lots of food, think bears pre-hibernation before we hit that hard reset button in January. Y'all, it's my birthday month. And if I don't make a big deal about my birthday or everyone else who has a birthday in this godforsaken month, it's just gonna fade away into the Mary Berry backdrop of Yuletide carols, which is fine. I love Christmas. It is my favorite holiday. However, a bitch was born two days before Christmas and hello, I'm here. So I'm gonna yell about it because if there's one thing that I am good at, it's being annoying and repetitive. AKA my birthday month. Cause it's my birthday month. Hey, just an FYI, it's my birthday month. Thanks. It's my birthday month. Ha happy birthday to you, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to Pat, who also has his December birthday. Conservatives in this country are hollering about the war on Christmas. And I'm out here trying to talk about a more pressing issue, which is the war on my birthday. Okay, let's talk about that because Jesus is dead. He doesn't care if we celebrate his birthday or not. He's gone. It's been thousands of years. I can talk about it. We can all talk about it. Jesus is gone. He's dead. We, have, we even have a holiday devoted to that. He's dead. He's gone. He doesn't care. Us December babies, we do care. It's the darkest, bleakest time of the year, okay? We, we want our flowers. Where's our flowers? So I won't stop yelling about it. And if you have a December birthday, go ahead and holler about it in the comments below because like we have to, we have to, we have to speak out. So to celebrate the month of my birth, I've decided to talk about the 21 things that made my life better in 2021. 2021 has been a year of ups and downs and that's okay. So I'm out here looking out for y'all. I've got concepts, I've got items, I've got apps on this list. Why don't we just, let's just go ahead and let's get started, shall we? Coming in at number 21 is the Litter Genie. Now, it's no secret that my cats are absolute monsters, which means they take monster cat craps. I'd be taking mad dumps, big poopies, huge stinkers, giant mug pies. Like, I knew about the Diaper Genie. I knew about her for, for parents, and I knew that that was a lifesaver, but the Litter Genie, I didn't know about this until this came into my life, and damn, 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 damn. If you, if someone in your life has cats, this is gonna save their life. Number 20, this little scrubber rag, which like, honestly, y'all, I don't, I don't even know where I got this one from. I, I, I might've gotten it in like a gift bag. I might've gotten it from Amazon, but these things are cheap. They're better for the environment, and it gets all the dead skin off your booty, because let's face it, if you're buying a scrubber rag, that's what it's for. It's to scrub your ass. So scrub your ass. Because if you don't scrub your ass, that shit gets real bumpy, real fast. It looks like the surface of the moon. This is a great stocking stuffer. You can wrap your bar of soap around in it. You can squirt your body wash in it. It's everything. Get yourself a little scrubber rag. Number 19, my Roomba. When the machines take over, I hope that my little Roomba friend will speak on my behalf because y'all, I love my Roomba. I love her. My Roomba doesn't care about gender. My Roomba is non-binary, I think. Anyways, we named them Grogu. I love the fact that they sing a little song. I love that they suck up all the bullshit on my floor so that I don't have to contend with the monster vacuum that we keep hidden in our closet for a reason. This is my little Fran who like buzzes around and does things for me. It's like my own little personal assistant. This is the POV angle of what my Roomba sees. So get yourself a Roomba. They are so helpful. Number 18 are my silk sheets. This is this is everything, you guys, because I, I thought something was wrong with me. I was sweating profusely throughout the night. I was like, is this early menopause? Like, what the hell is going on? Recently, and when I say recently, I mean like maybe a week and a half ago, I bought silk satiny type sheets. Game changer. The brand is Bedsure. Yeah, it is worth every penny. They're never coming off our bed unless we have to wash them, which is probably soon. Get yourself these Bedsure sheets. The cats love them. What What more can I say about bed sheets? Number 17 is my Apple Watch. Ah! I'm not wearing my Apple Watch right now. Hold on. So I didn't ask for an Apple Watch. This wasn't like something that I was like, oh yeah, I definitely need to get an Apple Watch. But it was given to me as a gift. I'll see what I like about it. And y'all, I love my Apple Watch. I love the fact that I can track my heartbeat. Sometimes I'll even test myself by like looking at pictures of um, Thomas Shelby just to see if my heart rate's affected. I love that it tracks my fitness. The fact that I can share my farts with Patrick at any time I want to. Uh. I feel so loved. 
I'm so glad technology has brought us together in this way. My Apple Watch is it. It keeps me on top of my A game. Like, let's face it, if we're gonna have to leave the house, we're gonna have to bring it. You know what I mean? And I love her. Number 16, not a machine. My microfiber hair towels. Okay, y'all, I saw on the internet, internet.com, all of these secrets about like how to get healthier hair. It's no secret, I bleach my hair, and I also have fine hair. After a while, she just is like, no. I invested in microfiber hair towels. These little hair towels suck all the water out of your hair without you having to rub and like, like do this number. Wrapping up one of these microfiber hair towels around your head, you're just gonna walk around your house like that. Your hair is ready to be combed. I'm not, my hair isn't as tangly anymore. I mean, and it's cheap. This is a great stocking stuffer item. Highly recommend. Number 15, Buff City Soaps. My mom put me on to Buff City Soaps because we were in Cincinnati, Ohio. Shout out to Cincinnati, I see you. My parents were looking for something cute to do with my niece and nephews. So they went to Buff City Soaps and then bought a haul. So they all got me these like bars of soap, which I was like, huh, I get it, I smell. I don't know about y'all, but whenever you use a bar of soap, do you, ever, do you ever feel like it dries out your skin afterwards? Like you've just scrubbed yourself with lye? It's not like that. I, I feel like these soaps have like a secret ingredient of magical shea butter or something. My niece picked me out a bar of soap that was little Literally pink and blue tie-dye and it smelled like uh, Lucky Charms and I love it I love going to bed at night smelling like Lucky Charms so number 14 are our fit and bendy classes I did for my year of the body challenge I think it was in February I tried to get my metal split I took a lot of fit and bendy classes they're based on so much science I feel like I'm in a ballet class meets physical therapy class meets strength and flexibility class I learned so much about my body if you want to check out fit and bendy you can go ahead and watch that video watch the two videos I made about trying to get my middle split. They're based out of Los Angeles, but I know they're doing virtual classes, so treat yourself to some Fit and Bendy this year. Our number 13 product, you knew it was gonna happen. It's Balesa. Hello, queen. Have you thought about giving yourself a gift this holiday season? Because if this is the first time you're hearing of this concept, let me put you on to Balesa. There is an ethical porn revolution happening right now, right now, on Rihanna's internet, and you need to know about it. And it's happening on Balesa. Introducing Balesa Plus, and it is the Netflix of porn, and it's all ethical porn. People want better porn, and people want ethical porn, and Balesa wants you to have both. And right now, Balesa is letting you choose what you pay for it. What? What you pay for it. The content on Balesa really focuses on real connection and emphasizes genuine female pleasure you're not gonna find any fake O's on this website right have you ever had that experience when you're watching a little porn and then all of a sudden you see this gal on screen and you're like wow someone give this girl an Oscar because she is bringing it the performance. For as little as a couple dollars a month, you'll get unlimited access to a growing library of over 50 channels and 30 adult studios, including AVN award-winning reality porn series, Balesa House, where female porn stars actually choose who they want to have sex with. Balesa is out here changing the entire porn industry. Balesa is a woman-run, women-directed, women-operated company. So feel good about supporting great, ethically made porn. Just head over to my link in the description box and choose what you want to pay and enjoy Balesa's porn erotica and sex ed have you ever seen that before porn and sex ed living on the same platform well i hadn't until i moseyed on over to balesa balesa plus offers a hundred percent discreet billing and you can pause or cancel with one click at any time pay what you want for the netflix of porn and join the ethical porn movement it's only for 18 and older just wait a couple years number 12 is a partnership that i did called copilot copilot is a personal training app y'all i'm so obsessed with my copilot my copilot my personal trainer her name is darian she is so so intuitive we talk once a month and then she programs into the app my like homework my fitness schedule routine the fact that it's all just baked into the app and there takes so much guesswork out of working out and exercise copilot is such an excellent program I've seen definite results it's just nice to have a ritual around working out number 11 the I see why am I podcast Hello, I see him, why am I? Stands for in case you missed it. There's a podcast. You can get it on Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you get your podcasts from. It's a podcast by Slate. It features Madison Malone Kircher and Rachel Hampton. And these two gals talk about internet culture for 30 some minutes every week, twice a week. And they just keep you up to date with not only what's going on in our favorite social media apps, but they even address the deeper issues, the psychology behind what we post. It literally from anything from online 
according to IRL, they talk about it, and it's it's just so funny. I never miss an episode, so check out ICYMI. Rachel, Madison, if you're watching this, I adore y'all. Thank you for everything you do. Number 10, Nug Club. Okay, now if you are a weed smoker, hey girl, Nug Club is such a fun little addition to my uh, weed smoking habit. Nug Club is a subscription box. I don't know if you can get it outside of California or any Washington, Colorado, the states that embrace cannabis. Check it out on their website, what the deals are. But for a hundred bucks, Every two months, Nug Club sends me these gorgeous little boxes of the newest and greatest products on the market. They're such a fun surprise every other month, and also their delivery drivers are really nice and really communicative. Nug Club, for the stoner in your life, or for yourself. Number nine, okay, this brand has been on the channel on Devin But Better a lot, um, and that's because we love her. It's Thread Up. It's 2021, the world is suffering, so I've been doing a lot of personal work thinking about how I can make my lifestyle, my environment more sustainable, and Thread Up has been such a helpful tool in that journey. So Thread Up is a way to kind of bridge the gap between fast fashion, and the reason why we shot fast fashion, and thrifting. It's so simple, they make it so simple. And the fact that I can then and turn around and sell my clothes on ThreadUp. Give it a shot, give it a chance. Do you like my look? Well, it doesn't matter if you don't because I like the way I look. And also, this face right here, brought to you by Elia. This is makeup in the world of makeup. This is Elia. Oh my God, y'all. This like Elia Super Serum Skin Tint, really even not that expensive, is the real deal. But let me show y'all what it looks like. Like a serum. She literally has the consistency of a serum. Anyways, look at that. It's already starting to drip. It's really drippy. You gotta get in there quick. But the finish is just so natural. The coverage is really light. It's really breathable. It's great for like weekend wear or day wear. Definitely start off with this product, the Super Serum Skin Tint. I haven't tried any of the other products so I'm just putting you on to this one. You won't be sorry. Number seven, my Tulsi Sweet Rose Tea. Okay, this is another cheap gift idea. Y'all, my Tulsi Sweet Rose Tea, I found before I went to Albuquerque. We were pulling long hours. I mean like four in the morning to 9 p.m. at night. I would come home every day, still like buzzing from the day, but I would need to get some sleep. I would need to go to bed. This Tulsi Sweet Rose Tea is it. For some reason, when I sip this tea, I am immediately relaxed. I don't know what it is. And the flavor is delicious. If you go to Amazon.com, people are like freaking out because it has stevia in it. It doesn't, y'all. It has the stevia leave in the blend, and it's just delicious. I can't rave about it enough. Number six, my Power Green Vitamins. Okay, so my manager, God bless her. Danielle, if you're watching this, I adore you. My manager put me on to these Power Greens, powdered vitamin supplement that you mix with water and drink I love her. Typically, when it comes to vitamins, I don't necessarily feel the effects. This supplement has given me so much energy without making me feel super buzzy. And then, and then, and then, when I came back from Thanksgiving, I felt like I had a cold coming on, so I took my Power Greens. I kicked that cold in a day, y'all, a day. This is kind of a splurge item, especially if you're feeling really run down, if you're working really long hours, I highly recommend. Number five, MeUndies. I, I know, I know, we're a MeUndies household. MeUndies masks are, are the are the best. Now, they're not N95 masks, so they don't have those little ionizer filters in them. They're, they're cloth masks, but if you're going somewhere where you would normally wear a cloth mask, swap it out for a MeUndies mask. These masks are the best, and they come in with lots of cute patterns or solid colors, depending on what your vibe is. They're super cheap, and if you like them, try out their underwear and their bras, because MeUndies, they're the best. They're the best. My number four thing, if you're looking to get into pole dancing, this is for you. My number four item is Sammy Pacone. She on her Patreon has classes that you can purchase for a monthly price. She has the most in-depth pole conditioning classes that I have come across. Her form and her freestyle and her flow are just impeccable. She's just like an icon. She's got intermediate classes. She's got beginner classes. All of it. She's got it all. She's a goddess. So if you're looking to get into pole, if you already have a pole or access to a pole, I highly recommend checking out Sammy Picone. And Sammy, if you're watching this, like mad love and respect to you and everything you do. You're incredible. And don't you forget that. Number three, I'm flashing you. It's my pepper bras. I am a part of the itty bitty teeny titty committee. I'm the treasurer, actually. You're welcome. We're excited if we get into a B cup. Like, it's like, wow, who are we? A femme fatale? Pam Anderson? <laughs> but they're specifically tailored for, for, for the ladies who have 
the tits of a teenage boy. I have always felt like bras like from Victoria's Secret or Macy's or any of those big stores, department stores, never really fit me and always make me feel like I am less than. These pepper bras actually cup my tit. They actually hold me in and support me. They give me cleavage and they make me feel like a woman. So Pepper, thank you so much for adding a little spice to my life, you guys get it. If you see that you have small tits, check out Pepper Bras, because they're gonna make you so happy. Number two, La Roche Pussy. Is she putting her pussy as number two on her 21 things that make 2021 better? No. La Roche Pussy is a really fancy sounding skincare line that you can find in any drugstore in the US. I have been using their products religiously for a year now. This is how good their products are. Sometimes I'll run out of a moisturizer or a cleanser and I'll use something else that I have in my bathroom, but my skin still stays on point even when I'm just mixing in other things. And it's because I'm convinced La Roche-Posay makes their products with thermal spring water. The complexion speaks for herself. Bring that light closer here. All right, let's bring the light closer here. All right, well, that's too close. Yep. Yeah, my mom gave me these jeans, so I have to really give the skin credit to Sharon Lytle, but La Roche-Posay helps me maintain it. And our number one thing in 2021 that has made my life better, Olaplex. Now, if you are a beauty blogger or a lifestyle gal, I get it. You probably have already heard about Olaplex. It's a bonding shampoo. It's a shampoo to help your hair follicles get more healthy. And Lord have mercy, it has. If your product or if your tip has made the list, please go ahead and comment below. Take credit for that bad boy. I'm also gonna be adding links into my description box for anything that I talk about in this video. That's it, y'all. That is the 21 things that made my life better in 2021. I mean, we're all out here still shopping for holidays, whether it be Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. Well, Hanukkah's done, but maybe it's belated Hanukkah. So hopefully this list helped you. And y'all, this is not my last video of the year. It's my second to last video of the year. But I just want to say from the deepest part of my heart all of these items all of these concepts are just tings They're just things but what has really left an impact on my life in 2021 has been you you as in Derek Who's editing this video Derek? I honestly don't know what I would do without you this year This man's was recommended to me by a friend and we just decided to start to work together and I was like, okay We'll start off slow a month passes and he just like took so much work off my slate and made my life so much better, my mental health so much better. And then, obviously, Devin Bevetter would not be anywhere if it weren't for y'all. I really, really, really value your attention. And I even go so far as sometimes to think like, what did I do to deserve such an incredible audience? And this platform is such a blessing and such a privilege. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here and ultimately, making my life better. That's it, my beautiful nerds, and I'll see you for our last video of the year next week.